I'm starting off this project with this chalk couture transfer. It's called Kind Words. And before placing it onto my surface, I'm just fuzzing that transfer up so it's not that sticky on the surface. And the surface I'm using is actually something that I created in a previous project. So now I'm just placing the transfer onto the frame, making sure there are no air bubbles. And then I'm using Chalkology paste in the color bright white, just using my squeegee to apply that chalk paste on and then peel that right up. Allow the first section to completely dry. And now I'm using Chalkology paste in the color Daffodil for the middle section of the transfer. So again, just use that squeegee to apply that on and take off any of that excess and put it back into the jar. And for the bottom of the transfer, I'm just going back in with that white Chalkology paste, just using that squeegee to apply that paste. And then you're ready to lift this up. And this is my favorite part, the peel and reveal. Look at how beautiful this is. So now to add a cute accent piece to this framed decor. I'm using this little tin bucket that I got from my local thrift store with two packages of this nautical rope that you could get from Dollar Tree. And I just began by hot gluing the first part of the nautical rope on the bottom of the bucket. And you just wanna continue doing this until that tin bucket is completely covered with the nautical rope. As I start getting closer to the top section of this bucket, I just cut a piece of the nautical rope to make a hanger, and I just hot glued that right at the top of that bucket. And then I just continued to pile on the nautical rope until it was completely filled in at the top. And once you hit the top, then you just want to put a generous amount of some hot glue just to seal that piece right off. And now you created the shape of a B-step. So I wanted to add a little hole, so I just grabbed some more nautical rope, just glued it down into the shape of a circle, and let that completely dry. Once that was dry, I then just used some black acrylic paint and I just filled in that hole. I then created a crisscross bow. So all this consists of is just grabbing some random pieces of the ribbon of your choice, put them down in a crisscross and tie it off with another piece of ribbon or you could also use some jute string to tie that off as well. And once that was complete, I just hot glued that at the top of this little bee scup. And there you go, guys. I had so much fun creating this. I hope this inspired you to create your own. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.